Another expensive race, the bitter battle for the GOP seat in State Senate District A. You couldn't watch TV without hearing the attack ads between Phil Huffines and Angela Paxton. With 12% of precincts reporting Angela Paxton ahead in this race with 54% of the vote. Now, District 8 covers a big chunk of Collin County, including Frisco, Plano, Allen, and McKinney. Matt Howerton is live at the Paxton Watch Party tonight, where I would imagine folks are happy there, Matt. Yes, yeah, Cynthia, a lot of people here right now at Paxton's camp in Allen. I'm going to move out of the way at the moment. Paxton and her husband, State Attorney General Ken Paxton, addressing supporters right now. She has a commanding lead over Huffines at the moment, and this race has just been a slugfest. GOP members have been forced to take sides, and the money spent during it all, well, if you add it all up, you could probably buy your own luxury yacht and sell it, sail it around the world. Oh, thank you so much. I'm <laughs> yes. so glad you're my favorite. They fought until the polls closed. Thank you very much for your support. You bet. And voters knew. I guess it's awfully important to them. The candidates Phil Huffines and Angela Paxton. You got it. So thank you, sir. All right. Thank you very much. I appreciate your support. Yeah. Would do anything to win the Republican primary for state Senate seat District 8. And the ads speak for themselves. Liberal donations, negative campaign. Paxton, whose husband is State Attorney General Ken Paxton, didn't pull punches with her opponent, Phil Huffines. He's the brother of State Senator Don Huffines and a well-known businessman in North Texas. But then again, Huffines didn't play nice either. Behind Angela Paxton's smile lies a world we never knew. And when it came to spending money, the sky was the limit for both campaigns. Together, both Paxton and Huffines spent close to $10 million getting voters to the polls. I love this county, and I'm so glad I did. And it's been the most amazing experience of my life. Paxton. As you probably heard, we've knocked on over 100,000 doors and talked to tens of thousands of voters. And Huffines were all smiles stumping for votes today. How are you? At Allen City Hall, the many in line could feel the bad blood in the parking lot. Mudslinging, I don't think is the uh, proper way to do it. So what would you do? Uh, just be honest and fair. And when the final vote is counted, this will likely be the most expensive race in the history of state politics. So thanks for voting today. Were the millions worth it? Appreciate you. We'll know. I'll work hard for you. Come November. Like we said, Paxton has a pretty big lead over Huffines at the moment. If she wins, she'll likely face Democrat Mark Ferris in November. He is winning his race at the moment. In Allen, Matt Howardson, Channel 8 News.